Good morning, Whitman Wildcats. Welcome to the first annual Whitman News broadcast for the 2020-2021 school year. Today, we kink things off with an interview. You will meet our new newscasters for the school year, as well as see a couple of staff members get interviewed. The Whitman Morning News will be focused on interviewing a lot of staff members this year. See if you can identify one of your teachers. Today, we kick things off with Hispanic Three. Heritage Month. Two, one. Good morning, Whitman Wildcats. Live from Whitman Middle School, we have our first Whitman News broadcast. We have two special guests today, and you get to meet your two first newscasters for the school year. To kick things off, we're going to do an interview about Hispanic Heritage Month. Now, to introduce our newscasters, we have Gabby and Samantha. All right, and for our two special guests, we have Miss Samuels and Miss Vargas. Now, to kick things off is our newscast. Hello. Take it away. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. What is your name and what subject do you teach? Hello, my name is Michelle Samuels and I teach Spanish. What is your personal story slash your family history? Okay, a personal story is, um, my son plays soccer, so anytime my family and I go to a soccer game, and we are so excited, we can we cannot share in English. We gotta share in Spanish. So we don't look like the typical mestizo Latinos. We are Afro Latinos, but a lot of people don't know that we exist. So anytime we share, we share in Spanish. People stay looking like, are they sharing in Spanish? So the expression in their face is. So unique, and sometimes we just have to let them know that we are Latinos. <laughs> so that is a, a personal family story. What do you particularly enjoy about your culture, your culture or slash heritage? Okay, um, I love um, from my culture. I love food, music, and hanging out with family. Those are three things I love about my culture. Do you have any special shout outs to make today? Yes, I want to shout out all of the teachers, administrator, everybody involved in this difficult situation we are living right now. I want to shout out all the students for hanging in there, all my Afro-Latinos and my Latinos. Hey. Thank you, Ms. Samuels. You're okay. welcome. Now we're gonna switch over to our second guest, Miss Vargas. Hola. Hola. Hello, what is your name and what subject do you teach? Yes, hola, como están? My name is Mrs. Vargas and I teach English and history for students who access the adaptive curriculum. What is your personal story slash your family history? Okay, so my personal story is um, I was born in Bolivia, in La Paz, Bolivia, and my parents are uh, from indigenous background. So I am indigenous uh, with Quechua and Guarani. We migrated to the United States when I was eight years old, and this was in 1986 and we came directly to Alexandria, Virginia. This is where I grew up. I went to school in Alexandria public school system, and then my family moved to um, the Falls Church area in, uh, when I was 17 years old, so I graduated from Fairfax, um, from a Fairfax high school. Um, so another part of my history is that I have two children uh, who are bilingual. They speak Spanish and English, and I'm really happy and really proud of them and uh, because I love speaking in Spanish. I love how the R twirls in the tongue and it's just it just makes me feel really nice to be able to speak both languages. Yes. <laughs> what do you particularly enjoy about your culture or heritage? So one of the, uh, there's many things that I enjoy about uh, being able to speak both English and Spanish because this opens up the doors to learning more things. When you can speak two languages, you can speak to more people. 
uh, you can learn more things and you can read more books. Uh, and I also love to dance and I also love to sing and it's really nice to be able to sing in both languages as well. Ms. Vargas, do you have any special shout outs to make today? I do. I have a very special shout out to the Cat B Whitman Strong team and I'm going to go ahead and name them uh, by name. So I want to give a shout out to my student Derek, Alejandro, Alvin, Miguel, Jolene, and Rosa. And I just want you, and I want to give a shout out to Mr. Abid and Miss E, and I just want to tell you all that I love you and that I'm so happy to be in this journey with all of you. And I, and I want to give an extra shout out to all the students who are doing really well during virtual learning. I know this is tough and I know this is difficult, but you're doing it and you're doing a great job. So keep up the good work, everyone. Thank you for sharing with us today. Absolutely. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you Gracias. <laughs> to both of our guests and both of our newscasters. Newscasters, uh, Gabby, do you have any special shout outs for today? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Samantha, did anyone you want to do a shout out for? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, all my friends and all my teachers. Um, thank you. And yeah. All right. Thank you to our special guest. But Hispanic Heritage Month is not over. If you, as a staff member, are interested in being interviewed for Hispanic Heritage Month, Yay. email Mr. Fisher. As for Woo. new chapters. Uh, Gabby and Samantha have it this month. But if you want to take over in the future, you just email Mr. Fisher that you're interested in signing up to be on the Whitman Morning News. That is it. Remember the Whitman way. If you go back your day, make it a great one, everyone. Bye. Adios. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> great job, everyone. Woo! Yay, that was so good. Good. Thank you for tuning in for the Whitman broadcast for October. We look forward to more Hispanic heritage interviews in this coming month. Take care, everyone.